Hi friends, medial boundary of Hasselbeck's triangle is formed by option A rectus sheath, option B epigastric vessels, option C linear alba, option D anterior superior lax spine. Let's deal with the anatomy of Hasselbeck's triangle. This is the anterior superior lax spine. The ligament which is running from anterior superior lax spine to pubic symphysis is the inguinal ligament. And in this area we can see the rectus muscle which is covered by the rectus sheath. This is the inferior epigastric vessels which is running here. And this triangle is the Hasselbeck's triangle. So the medial border of that triangle is formed by the lateral border of the rectus sheath. Inferiorly it is the inguinal ligament. Inguinal ligament is also called as Popot's ligament. And superior laterally this triangle is bounded by inferior epigastric vessels. Let's have more details. This is standard superior leg spine and the inguinal ligament is running from pubic symphysis to the anterior superior leg spine. This is the pubic symphysis. Approximately this location we can see the inferior epigastric vessels. Hernias which occur medial to this inferior epigastric vessels are direct hernia and hernia which occur lateral to this inferior epigastric vessels are indirect hernia. Why the indirect hernia is called so? Because this hernia does not occur through a defect in the abdominal wall. This hernia occur when the intestinal content comes through a patent processus vaginalis. Processus vaginalis is a canal through which the testis which is developed inside the abdomen reaches the scrotum. So in some patients this canal do not close and in the adult life through this canal the abdominal content hernias and that is why it is called as indirect hernia. As this hernia comes through this patent processus vaginalis it is covered by the internal spermatic fascia.